are gorgeous people welcome back again so previous video we have learned how to authenticate external client outside from service now instance and in this video tutorial we will learn how to connect two different instance through oauth 2.0 authentication process and why we are connecting to exchange the data okay so friend here i have already opened that instance where we have already configured oauth 2.0 client registry to remind you uh, let me open that record from this uh, instance so let's type o out and open this application registry menu and this is the record which we have created earlier let's open it so uh, this is the another PDA instance I have already opened for you so from here we have to connect to this instance to connect that what we have to do uh, from the left navigation type o auth okay and click this menu application registry or uh, you can simply open in the next tab based on your choice so friend here we have to create a new record and this time we have to go with this connect to a third party oauth provider basically uh, this instance is a provider for this instance and what it is providing it is providing it is providing to connect and get the resources from this instance okay we have to connect this instance uh, with this instance to get the resources so click this connect to a third party oauth provider okay uh, let's name it as demo oauth uh, provider demo auth provider so here you can see a client id and client secret so from here we have to copy client id because we have to connect with this instance only so copy this toggle visibility password and copy this client secret also Okay. The most important thing is here, friend. Token URL. Okay. Uh, for us, token URL is uh, from this instance. Uh, copy URL from here. And after slash, you have to do out underscore token token dot do because instance will provide a token then only we can connect with this instance to get the resources so for that we have to choose that url next uh, you don't need to do anything just save it and if you want to change the redirect url uh, you can change but uh, for us we have to redirect to this instance only that's why we save it okay great that's it and here you can see refresh token life span and it should be same as the client which is providing token to you see and this uh, life span here is specified is for 100 days if you divide by 60 then you will get the answer in minutes and that will be for the 100 days we have created a demo of provider record now let's test it to test this uh, let's create a rest message so rest message okay open it in the next tab or you can open this in the same window also click the new button team o auth testing okay 
end point we have to specify is that let's suppose i want to access a uh, okay incident record on no so that's it and um, let's save it and the next thing is here in the authentication tab we have to select the authentication type okay uh, for us we have to select o out 2.0 uh, then we have to select a profile that we have already created that is demo OAuth provider uh, let's select it from here click this uh, lookup icon and select demo OAuth provider default profile okay save it so once we save we have to click this OAuth token link okay because first we have to authenticate ourselves so click this get o out token next you don't need to authenticate yourself again and again you you can use the token itself to get the resources so because this is the first time we have to click this get o out token link so click this get o out token okay admin get about token now we have received the token now we can test so we can test let's test it something i think we made some mistakes let's see maybe the url we are using is wrong or something else this url again don't think the url is wrong accident okay see friends uh we got the data because initially i think url was wrong that's why it was giving some uh, HTML text data. Okay, even that was also showing status 200. Okay, so friend, this is how you can connect uh, using OAuth API. Okay, and the next important thing is that now you have access token. What if your access token will expire? For that, you need a refresh token to generate a new access token. Right, you have to write a script. To regenerate access token again and again if you want to check uh, the token you have received uh, from the simply type here o or click this menu menu uh, manage tokens so here you can find the token you have received from the third party instance okay it's kind of like logging to third party so how we can generate a new access token okay how we can generate a new access token here you can see if you click this reference here uh, anything like uh, rest and if you will search glide OAuth client right as i did here you will find this doc to use how to regenerate a uh, access token and refresh token okay uh, i just want to write a script to generate a uh, access token and refresh token again for the first time we have to use a, a password and username second time we don't need to use that password and username again and again to make a web request so first we have to create an object of auth okay equal to new client c o auth client o auth client Here, client O out client, and the next we have to mention the parameters that that would be required to make a request to generate a new access token and the refresh token. So we have to say like grand types. Uh, for the first time, we have to use a password only. So username can mention and password 
second we have to convert this uh, object to json encoded string okay so first we have to create an object of json next we have to encode this parameters dr ams json text we can say equal to json dot encode and here we have to pass this parameter dr ams okay and uh, if you are thinking like why we are converting it to json text uh, this is the doc only you can see and if you check that type of these parameters and text it will not match because this is the json uh, this is an object okay right and this is the json string after converting next we have to make a request to get the token the name of the thing, uh, function is also a request token and it will take a two argument so friend it will take a two argument the first argument will be the name of that profile we have created copy this and the next argument uh, this json text this code text that's it here access token we will re receive here expiry where it will expire that value in date format or time format you will receive the refresh token i didn't mention username and password here the name try here is returning a request token after that using the function we will get the object token one dot get token okay okay here you can see right we have received access token and the refresh token so for the next time what we can do we can use this refresh token okay to generate a new x token so type will be refresh underscore token and now we don't have to use this username and password here we just have to mention refresh token to get the new access token awesome and if you want to use this uh, for a long time what you can do you can store refresh token and access token as a system property because uh, you can't access the resources after expiry of access token so you need the refresh token to regenerate the access token that's why i'm saying that that's what you can do uh, before expiry of uh, access token you can make a web request to regenerate a access token again to get the access so how we can do you have a scheduled job in that and you can use the system property store the access token and refresh token so friend thank you for watching 